Um, there's someone knocking on the door. It's oh, just for you. Hang on, okay, hang on, one second. Oh, okay. I'm surprised you had to answer the door yourself. I thought it would be a different <laughs> setup here. <laughs> What do we call you, by the way? I, this is what I'm, I'm already struggling with. Are we at a stage where we your can call Royal you? Your Royal Highness will do. Your Royal Highness. No, <laughs> um, just to clarify, it's William. I'm just I'm joking. I'm okay. just, that's, I just that's want cool. to see Chris's face. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> no, no, William will do. I've been called all sorts, but William, we'll start with William. That's good. So the situation is we haven't really had that many guests on this podcast. So we thought you could take on Mike Dean's role, if you fancy it, and be head of emails for this one. Perfect. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Should we crack on with it then? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so the message from Peter is when I was at school I considered my name a bit boring and a bit common I wanted oh. to be known by a more exotic name and somehow chose Carl with a K <laughs> oh. Dad can we um, there's someone knocking on the door is oh, this you want me to answer? Oh, hang on okay hang on one second oh, okay. I'm surprised you have to answer the door yourself I thought it would be a different <laughs> setup. here <laughs> oh, Adam, oh, okay. Oh, no. okay thank you Adam appreciate that um, so there's some curry for you boys <laughs> Um, and I believe it's the Samrat, which <laughs> is like your local favourite crowd cheese. Yeah, it is. That's exactly right. Yeah. yeah. Are you serious? We've had the Samrat has delivered to the palace. Yeah. Well, I believe, uh, I think once they've got through security. Uh, <laughs> I think it's the first time that the Samrat's ever delivered to Kensington Palace. There's like, an Uber driver out there on the floor at the moment being frisked. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the last time. He's left a little menu as well, like, as if you're going to yeah, go back there. <laughs> I think there's even a 10% discount. <laughs> so William, this is fundamentally a football podcast, although we do talk a lot of old nonsense. So you as a footballer, who were your favourite players when you were growing up? I think one of the first players I really thought was quite exceptional. Well, Thierry Henry is still is one of my favourites. I think some of the some of the older boys, Le McGrath, people like that, they were kind of real mm. legends. Schmeichel as well. You know, I, I, all the kind of legends of the game now I think I looked up to a lot at the, at, at the age because it all kind of made me realise which team I want to support and why how, afterwards how did the Villa thing come about I'm sure you get a lot <laughs> the long answer we'll yeah. the short answer the long answer is it was the first FA Cup game I went to right it was a Villa Bolton game and I remember sitting in the stands um, with my beanie on aged I must have been about Christ, I don't remember what it was, 12, maybe 11, something like that. And I went with a load of mates and I sat there amongst all the Villa fans and I loved it. And I thought the atmosphere was great, the camaraderie, the sort of team ethos. I also, at the time, was kind of, I desperately didn't want to support Man U or Chelsea like everyone else in, at school. Um, and I, I liked the idea that Villa had a real history. Mm. Like, it, 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 I was born in 82 as well and yeah. kind of the friends of mine desperately trying to get me to support Villa, as you can imagine, which they worked, um, were telling me all about the history of the club and mm. it, how it mattered and, and stuff like that and, and winning the European Cup. So it kind of went from there. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know what it was. I just, I felt a real connection with the club more than I felt watching some of the other ones. I feel... Mm felt when I was younger some of the big clubs it was harder to connect with mm. whereas I felt Villa was a kind of very proud Midlands club and it felt very special and quite sort of like that mm. whereas you know you go around the world now and everyone knows about Man U wherever you go yeah. you know it's kind of like I go around now in Africa and places and I talk about Aston Villa and they look at me and they're like <laughs> you know what <laughs> do you feel that is that your release would you say like it is now that's, that's really interesting oh, yeah. yeah since being a dad without a doubt football has become way more important to me than it ever used to it's really weird like it's changed a lot I, I, I need to go and be amongst other guys and mm. kind of let out a bit of steam shout a bit not abuse the referee because I'm the president of the FA and I can't do that <laughs> <laughs> but in my head I am um, yeah exactly yeah. Yes, it's <laughs> But uh, no, it's weird. It's become a lot more. Um, it's become a lot more relevant to me, mm. and I need it. And talking about football mm. like, helps a lot as well. Do you, do you kid, do your kids enjoy it? Yeah, they do. I think George. Uh, I took George and Charlotte uh, a while back. We went to the um, Norwich Villa yeah. game. Yeah, oh, I seen Carrow the footage Road. of him yeah. enjoying tried it. Tried to slip in there quietly. <laughs> the sky has picked us up. And uh, that's like that's like Chris and Watford. That was, was it? <laughs> <laughs> exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and it was the best I'm mean, amazing it was the best game of Villa season yeah. probably will stay that way 5-1 and, uh, and and George started to get really into it by the end mm. and I'm trying not to persuade him to be a Villa fan I'm letting him like choose his own way yeah. but um, I think <laughs> having you know having a variety of clubs you know of interest and things mm. like that and I want him to go and experience and like you said Chris it's about it's about finding what fits for him what if he got really good at football can he do the job and be 
Yeah. Up front for Villa. Definitely, I reckon he could. I reckon he could be their all-time goal scorer. I mean, I can see no reason why not. Yeah. Brilliant. What if he says he wants to support Birmingham City? <sighs> you had to ask that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Previously, I was a bit concerned about supporting Chelsea. I didn't want to support Chelsea. Quite but rightly so. Now Frank's come in, I feel, I feel the culture's a bit different in Chelsea. I'd be okay mm. with it. I do like the values and the ethos of the clubs. I want them to, to look after their players. I want them to set a good example um, to the young fans. And I want my, you know, all mm. our children, when they go to the football match, to come away loving what they've seen, enjoying it, and, and seeing their role models behave in a way that we'd all want them to.